Alrighty, first video of the trip. Here it is, beautiful morning. Um, sun's about to get up, so we're gonna have to see how the filming goes. We're in an RV park, a lot different than what we were uh, about a month ago when we went quote unquote clamping slash uh, glamping, as you guys call it. So this is like an actual RV park. This is the actual glamping. I Just mean, try something different. These things are like set here, they're hard, hard wired in, it's pretty neat. So we got a nice little setup to uh, film. All right, so this is the deal, no matter what you call it, you still gotta cook on the griddle, right? You're still taking ingredients in and out. We get requests all the time for desserts, all the time. What kind of desserts, what kind of desserts? So it's really hard to come up with something that the griddle can do. Well, I'm a huge fan of K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid. So the pancake mix, we got the cinnamon sugar, check, you'll see why. We're gonna make our muffin mix pancakes. Peaches are in season and it is my absolute favorite fruit. We're gonna cut those up. We're gonna soften some cream cheese, a little powdered sugar. And then we are going to be able to make some, uh, this is the idea, make the cinnamon sugar pancakes, stack them in between the stacks, have that warm cream cheese powdered sugar mix. And then we're gonna do the brown sugar butter. Oh, and a secret ingredient. You can't come to Gatlinburg or Sevierville without seeing one of these places. And there's different brands and different names everywhere. They just lit up the whole We're scenery. in the mountains. Yeah. They like their moonshine. <laughs> Good old corn pop. And uh, we'll be able to put something that in there and make like, kind of like, I don't know, it's gonna be fantastic. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. One block cream cheese. I don't want this too sweet. I wanna be able to sweetness to come from the peaches and the brown sugar. We're just gonna offset the tartness that comes with uh, cream cheese. So we're gonna start at like a half a cup first. Then we can work our way to see what we need. Now listen, I just want you to know, if a bear comes out of those woods. <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm tripping you. <laughs> you don't have to be the fastest. You just gotta be faster than the slowest. That's right. <laughs> All right, it's one of those tough calls. She tasted it, I tasted it, we both agreed, which never happens. Like I said, you don't want, you don't want this too sweet. There's plenty of sweetness to go around. You still want the tang and I think we get there. So half a cup. All right, no matter how you do this, the name of the game is to get your seed separated from the uh, peach. So I'm just gonna come down here, slice it kind of like the way it would be served. These are not necessarily the ripest peaches, which is fine. All right, once your peaches are done, then I'm just gonna go back over and do a quick one over, just kind of get them manageable pieces. Um, perfect uh, example for this right here is ice cream. You know, you can uh, make this with maybe a little granola, something like that. Really just depends on what you want to do, what fruit you have. You know, obviously bananas, falsers is extremely popular. Same concept, pretty much same ingredients. Cherries Jubilee, since we're talking about moonshine. Oh my gosh, Amy. You could get the cherry soaked moonshine and add your brown sugar and bourbon and put that over chocolate ice cream. <laughs> that's what kind of camping i'm talking about <laughs> all right just connecting the uh, black zone with the appropriate hose we did find out that the weber 22 inch hose and the black zone hose are complete opposite one's a male end one's a female end so you can't interchange them just so you know and then this is how i like to store and or transport my propane tank with a uh, milk crate Works really, really well for a sturdy base. All right, we got our Blackstone on low. Uh, we're gonna be able to manage the tips. I really had forgotten about my temps on this thing. I'm not exactly sure, I don't really remember. So, I did bring my temp gun. I got a little cinnamon for the show. We got butter, we, for, we remembered butter. That's for sure. We remembered butter. What else did we forget? <laughs> well, that might be good. All right, let's make our mix. Hey, if you had blueberries, you could do the same thing with blueberries, fresh blueberries, frozen blueberries. You can add a little brown sugar on the griddle with blueberry pancakes. So I'm looking about a cup. So this is a two cupper. Our normal muffin mix recipe takes one cup of milk, but we already had half and half. Yep, just using what you got. One egg. Give that a mix. We're gonna add that cinnamon sugar muffin mix. I'm telling you, this doesn't get easier than what it is right here. And then roughly one cup. You wanna to try to nail the one cup. <laughs> we might not since we're in the wild. 
probably a quarter, probably a half, three quarter. It's probably a cup right there. If not, we could just add a little bit more half and half. It's really not gonna change that much. Oh, it smells good already. Yep. This will thicken as it sets, but we need to get there first. Oh yeah, there we go. That's it right there. It smells good, I don't know that. It does. All righty, griddle's coming up to temp, looking at roughly 350, 375. Let's see what we got here. Founder hot spot right there. So you don't have to pay attention to that one. You want to do your pancakes first because you want these to be able to cool so that way they're not piping hot before you add that cream cheese and all that stuff. You don't want the cream cheese to be spread everywhere, then your pancakes fall. So let me show you what we got. The rest of the peaches, my wife said I need to start eating more fruit. So I'm gonna take those peaches, put them in a like, little Ziploc bag and add some moonshine to them. So I can just soak up the moonshine because if she wants me to eat more fruit, <clears throat> then she can't really tell me how to eat the fruit. So moonshine soaked peaches along with moonshine soaked pineapples on pellets and pits. So I'm just guessing right here. I'm just trying to make a brown sugar sauce. So maybe about a tablespoon and a half. We might go one more. So maybe about two tablespoons of butter. A little bit of brown sugar. A little bit of that moonshine. Oh, you smell how stout that is. You smell how stout it is. I'm thinking how great the pool's gonna be later when people see me eating all kinds of fruit. <laughs> Apple juice works well. I know there's people out there with a comment that they don't drink, so that's fine. Uh, some type of juice, maybe like a peach nectar. And you really want to get the sauce going way before your peaches get cooked because while the sauce is reducing, then you want to be able to cook those peaches in it. We're going to reduce it one more time. See how we're picking up that heat? Because that sauce cools down your griddle so quickly. See how that sauce is kind of like clinging to the peaches? That's when you know it's done. All right, while these peaches cool in that syrup, I'm gonna clean the griddle. Just moving those peaches around in the bowl just to kind of cool it down. It's not cooled down near enough but it's starting to get hot already and I'm ready to dive in. So this is the deal. Soften cream cheese with a little bit of that powdered sugar in there. Take a bowl, just take a pancake and we'll do it like that. A 
come back here and layer some of those peaches. If not all the peaches make it, it's fine. You can put them around the edges. That kind of just gives you, like I said, the idea. And then don't forget, look at that syrup right there. Just look at that syrup. Moonshine, brown sugar, a little cinnamon. And there we go. Good Lord of mercy. Don't make it complicated. Use ingredients that you can work with. Very simple, right? We went through the, we all, we're always in the baking aisle. And we always try to come up with ideas that those little packets have. Blueberry, they have like a strawberry cheesecake. You know, you could like macerate strawberries and make something similar to this. Almost like the idea of, um, what do you call it? Uh, strawberry shortcake. So you can make your strawberry cheesecake pancakes, cool them down, uh, do some whipped topping, um, sugar some strawberries up, and there you go. Perfect griddle dessert or griddle breakfast. Just throwing you ideas out there. Dang, that looks good. Not exactly sure where to start this episode at. But let's just say that side right there looked like it was perfect. Cinnamon roll. With a cream cheese and a cinnamon. Mm. I know you're not a big fan of peaches. I know. <laughs> Taste that cream cheese. Not over sweetened. Mmm. Mmm. God, that's good. Mm. <laughs> Do mm. I dare to say, you're going to think I'm absolutely crazy. Balanced. It is. It's not too sweet. Now, let me, give me a bite with a peach. You want to try it with a peach? Yeah. As it falls apart. Yeah, give me a bite that I can eat. You guys said the same thing I did. <laughs> That's too big. <laughs> That's too big of a bite. And then you look at the fork and there's nothing left. <laughs> if the peaches were a hair riper. Yeah. To I put would, off this little bit more flavor. Say, yeah, if the peaches were riper. Mm. It slaps. <laughs> mm. That's good. <laughs> Next on the list. If you guys remember from my previous uh, camping trip, we caught some trout and they got away. This time they did not get away. We're doing country style potatoes and onions and some fried fish on the Blackstone griddle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. <clears throat> Golly, that's good. So